Okay guys, we just we started a new project and what we're actually going to do is start building a really simple um, 3D model um, which will help to explain a lot of the basic tools that we're going to run through. Now I've started a new project here just on the metric template and you can see that it has a few levels set up for us already in the project browser. Also elevation tags and a default section line as well. So let's click on wall or we can use WA. Um, for the shortcut for wall and you can see straight away in the properties palette that by default it's going to use this basic wall double brick 270 mil thick so we can click on that and you can change that if you wish um, block veneer you can use a generic wall you can actually go in and create your own wall which we'll show you later but for the purpose of this we'll use double brick also in the options bar we have an option to change the height of the wall so we can take it to level one or we can make it unconnected and just set in whichever height we wish. So that's five meters, but we're actually going to take this to level one for the purpose of this. The location line, it's a bit complicated to explain, so you can look into that if you want, but I use finish face exterior for most of it. Um, it just means that when you change the thickness of the wall or change any of the properties of your wall, it all has to um, base itself off where you've drawn the location line. So if you've drawn that from the exterior of um, the finished face, then everything's going to move. The, the, the finished face is not going to move when you change the properties or thickness of your wall. So we'll choose that. Chain, um, you can leave your, your lines in a chain, etc. Or um, you can just use a single line. Um, and that'll stop drawing after that. I usually leave it in a chain. Offset, um, you can set a well an offset distance from where you're actually clicking your mouse. And then also our draw tools over here. I'll just run you through a few of them really quickly. We have the line, which is simple. Um, rectangle. So these are just all different ways you can start out polygon, all different ways, circle. You can start drawing your walls if you want to start creating some nice shapes, etc. And then an arc like this, so I can choose you know where I want to put that. You know, if I leave it in a chain as well, I can just keep on drawing. Is this uh, center ends arc? Okay, so you get to choose how much of the arc you can draw. Tangent. So I have to pick a point and then draw on from that. It's a pretty interesting one. Create some nice curves. Um, fill it, so fill it. You'll click two walls and and actually create a curve from those two walls that are already drawn. Um, pick tool as well. So if you've got a CAD file that has some lines drawn, you can actually pick. That's gonna have an error because I'm drawing over the same thing. But if there was a line, I could pick um, that line and it would draw a wall along that line. Um, also pick face, so if I've drawn a mass, I can pick a face of that mass to automatically draw a wall. Um, so I'll just get rid of them. Okay, so let's just go ahead and draw a shape. Um, it doesn't really matter what your shape looks like. So you can see that as once I click once, Rev is giving me a running total um, of the angle and also of the distance that I'm drawing the wall. So I can run that along to choose it or I can actually type in a distance and press enter and it'll drop the wall at that, dist at that distance for me. And you can also see that as you move your mouse around, it wants to snap to points that are already drawn. So that's quite intuitive of the program. Now, once you've drawn, your walls, you're actually able to modify them and move them around by clicking and dragging. Or when you click on a wall, it'll activate a dimension. And if you click on that dimension, you can actually change, whoops, you can actually change its properties. So let's change this to 10 meters. There we go. So you can actually start to move your walls around like that. Um, now if we jump into 3D view, which is the house up here, you'll see that you've actually drawn walls in 3D and they should be 
however high level one is, and that's four meters from, yeah, oh, so four meters high. So if I actually go into my elevations, which I'll show you later, and change the height of level one to three meters, it's actually gonna bring the height of those walls with it. So it locks them to that level, which is great. Okay, so back to the plan, and you can see at the moment, so if you wanted to select a chain, remember you tab, and I'll just move that whole thing, center it a bit more along this section line. You can see, because we're on the visibility, um, the detail level course, we just get an outline of the walls. If I change that to fine, you actually start to see the structure within the walls, so hatching for brick and then an airspace or insulation. Okay, so that's basically walls. I mean, if you want to change the properties of it, you can click on the wall after you've drawn it and go into your properties palette and change that to 250 um, timber or we could just change that to, you know, single single layer brick. You know, it's up to you. So play around with your properties and, and um, just come up with a shape and we'll continue uh, next video. Thanks.